Why is it light like this? Oof, oof, oof. Okay. What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Giselle and I'm here to talk to you about my journey to becoming an ultrasound technologist slash sonographer. It's a lot of hard work to get to where we are as a technologist. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about is my journey. You know, I started this channel just wanting to bring ultrasound awareness and I felt like people wouldn't really care about who I am really like I just wanted to kind of talk about ultrasound but a lot of you guys surprisingly have been asking me about my story how I became a sonographer and why I became a sonographer I'm just going to have a raw honest conversation with you guys since I've, I've been pretty much typing it out to a lot of you but I'm gonna hopefully help somebody out there with this story because it is a story of ups and downs it is a story that I hope a couple of you will relate to. So yeah, if you wanna go ahead and like this video, that would help me a lot. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. If you guys continue to give me love and support, I will give you guys everything in return. With that being said, I'd love for you guys to comment below where you are viewing this video from. I love talking to you guys. It's been really awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by and let's get started. We are coming up on the 10 year anniversary of my high school graduation class. If you would have asked me 10 years ago, did you see yourself becoming an ultrasound technologist? No. Heckin' Bobs, no. Yes, Whitney Simmons, I said Heckin' Bobs. And if you guys follow Whitney Simmons, yes, I say Heckin' Bobs because of her. She is so beautiful and amazing, you guys should totally check her out. Back then, I honestly had no idea what I wanted to do. You know, in high school they tell you do all these things to prepare you for college. I did interact. I did National Honor Society. I was on the cheer team. I tried to volunteer as much as I could. I would do math tutoring. And I tried to do as much as I could to supplement my, you know, try to supplement your application for college. That's what they tell you to do. I had no idea what I wanted to be, but I knew I wanted to help others, help kids. And my family was mostly in the medical field. So I was like trying to do something medical, you know, Asian backgrounds and families you know, what they kind of like suggest you to do. So I just, right out of high school, applied for college and I put myself down as a nursing student. Yes, I was going to school to be a nurse. Now at that time, I was like, okay, you know, I can see myself being a nurse. I would love to help others and take care of people. That was kind of the goal. So at that point, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a nurse. One of the prereqs for nursing was anatomy and physiology. Here's where college gets kind of difficult. You take these classes, you try to focus, but then personal life gets in the way or something happens and you can't pass a class with the grade that you need. And in order to apply to the nursing program, you had to get like A's and B's, obviously, in your core classes. I honestly did not pass them with the grades that you need. So after finding out that, you know, your girl sucks at taking tests and stuff, I pretty much have like test anxiety, I had to switch majors. I had to figure out what I was gonna do. I took a ton of classes, math, biology, like all these other classes. Taking all of those classes were fine, but it was the anatomy classes that really, really got me down. So after figuring out that I couldn't get into the nursing program, I had to figure out what I was going to do next. There was a whole summer where I was really frustrated and had no idea what I wanted to do. I was already here at this college. I knew I could transfer somewhere else and I knew I could go to like another nursing program that would probably accept the grades that I had. But I was like, I've already spent all this time here at this university. I feel like I need to finish it out here, figure out what I need to do here and just find something. So that's when I joined sorority because I was looking for stuff to join. I was looking for something to be a part of, to broaden my horizons really because I didn't know what else to do. But honestly, joining the sorority changed my entire life. I always tell everyone that I found ultrasound through my sorority. So really, I owe the sorority and my sorority sister so much. So I joined the sorority, which I love so much. Shout out to my sorority sisters. Had a great bond with all these girls. Lots of girls that were very inspiring. Lots of them were older 
older and had already gone through college or had figured out what they wanted to be already. And one of the girls in the sorority actually did ultrasound. So she was currently, I think, in her clinicals during that time. When she'd come around, she'd like be in her scrubs and stuff. And so I would ask her like what she does. And she told me about ultrasound. So what she suggested to me was to take a radiology class and see if I would like it. Lo and behold, you listen to mentors, you listen to people who have been through it or who have gone through things and have had experience in them. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a radiology class to see what this is. I enrolled in the class and it was called Radiology 100, which was Intro to Medical Imaging. And they talked about x-ray, nuclear medicine, ultrasound, CAT scan. It was literally the introduction to radiology. If you don't know where to start, I highly recommend looking at radiology because there are other modalities under radiology that you might find fits you better than ultrasound. But for me, it was that class that made me fall in love with ultrasound. The way that that teacher was explaining everything, I was just like, wow, like this is really cool. I loved everything that the job entailed. I really liked that there was no radiation. And I really liked that you are working closely with doctors and helping them diagnose patients. So honestly, like taking the class was great 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 after that class i switched my major i said hey i'm gonna do ultrasound i went and spoke to my counselor the counselor gave me this piece of paper that showed me what classes i would need it showed me the classes i already did so we like checked those off and it showed me the track of how to get into the program it's this paper that literally just shows you like what you need to do you know you're given a goal and now here are the steps to get to that goal that was the start of my ultrasound journey this timeline or this checklist per se is what drove me to becoming an ultrasound tech it's what helped me get here today i highly recommend talking to a counselor talking to somebody who can help you figure out what the steps are to get into your program and to graduate from your program from there it was literally grind time go time like get this stuff done i had to retake some classes i had to focus on one class which was physics because physics was i knew that like, gonna be super hard for me but physics i had to specifically take one summer by itself because i knew i know how i am with test taking i get a lot of anxiety i get scared i hate tests I knew with physics already that it was going to be hard for me, so I wanted to focus on it by itself. So I took one whole summer to just do physics by itself. And sometimes you have to do that. Not only did all of these classes help me get into my program, you know, you have to try to get good grades because the programs itself are very competitive. You need to stand out more than these other people. Some of these programs take like 16 people a year. My class, there was seven of us. And if it's something that you really want, literally just show it, prove it. Show them why you want to become a sonographer. It's really hard, but you can do it. After I knew what classes I had to take, it really was just follow the pathway. Do good, get through your classes, stand out. So as you guys can see, it took me a couple years to figure out that I actually wanted to be an ultrasound technologist. The story is kind of the same for a lot of people that I know. They didn't want to become a sonographer right away. So after I finished all of my classes, prereqs, ultrasound classes, I had to apply to the program and that year they started doing interviews. We were the first class to be interviewed to get into the program. It was starting to get more traction, more people were trying to get into the program, and it is a small program, so they had to do interviews. Going to the interviews, I was really scared. It's like you work so hard, you do so much, and then you have to impress a panel in an interview and show them like why you should be an ultrasound technologist. There are some places that I've heard that they do like a lottery system and they just choose at random because it's just so tough to decide who gets to get in the program. But honestly, that's kind of scary. I think that you should be able to do an interview and to prove and show why you should be a sonographer. It's all about scanning skills. It's all about communication. Are you gonna work well talking to a patient? Are you gonna work well multitasking? So I think those are all things that you have to get through an interview. After the interview, you know, you're like nervously waiting. Did I get in? Am I going to be an ultrasound student? Unfortunately, I wasn't on the list of people to get in. I was number one on the alternate list. And so obviously that was like a huge downer. I was kind of upset, but I was also like, okay, well, I made the alternate list. So that just means I'm going to get in next year. So how it works is if you're like alternate, they basically put you on a waiting list to get into the program. And you're going to be at the top of the list for the next year to get in. And so I was like, ugh, what am I gonna do? Like I just, I went through all this stuff. 
I, I'm not giving up. Like, I'm not going to change my major. I'm going to take this year off. I was going to go to Disneyland. I was going to travel, you know, enjoy life. But then a couple weeks later, I get this email that I got into the program. Hooray! And I was just like, oh my gosh, like I remember the day and apparently somebody had like dropped out from the first couple who got in. So I was just like, are you serious? <laughs> this is real life. After receiving that like official letterhead that I got into the program, I was so excited and I was ready to just like hop onto this journey. I was like, no more traveling for me, gotta get through this. And mind you, I was working throughout this whole entire time, throughout my whole entire college experience. Props to you guys who have to stay working and do classes. Like it is hard work, but if I could do it, you can do it too. It's, it's, it's really just all a mindset thing. I did lab for about a semester-ish and then got into clinical. Originally, I was supposed to go to an outpatient place, but somehow I ended up going to a hospital. And honestly, the hospital taught me everything that I know today. Where you go in clinical really matters. The people who teach you matters. Like that's where you're gonna learn all your skills, how to talk to patients. You're gonna shadow these people and you're gonna see what they do on the daily. That's where you learn everything about ultrasound. Everything after clinical just kind of just happened right away. Took my SPI exam, got a job, got a registry, got another registry, and I'm now currently working on other registries. I'm here to tell you right now, I hate taking tests. I hate studying. I hate it. <laughs> Like, who likes it? Well, I mean, some people like it, right? But I'm gonna tell you honestly, straight up truth. I don't like studying. But you have to do it. You have to focus. You have to sit there. You have to understand the things that you're looking at. And it doesn't matter that I hate it or that I don't like it. What matters is that I do it. I study. I'm trying to be better, not only for me, but be better for the patient. Be better for the people around me. I want you guys to not be discouraged. Don't be discouraged if you think it's hard. Don't be discouraged if you are stuck not understanding something. There are many sources that you can use to help you study. Find people to study with. What I suggest is read something, read it over and over again until you actually understand the concept, grasp it, and are able to speak it out loud into the universe and teach somebody else about it. For example, if I'm going to talk about vascular and I want to talk about the venous system or the arterial system, I should be able to read it off of a book, kind of understand it, explain it to someone else, and then let it stick in my head. Let it absorb. I am the worst test taker, but with dedication, hard work, motivation, you guys can do it too. If it's something that you really want to do, I really, really push you guys to just stay positive. Don't give up. Find someone to help you out. Find someone who believes in you. You know, there's going to be hard days. There are so many days where I wanted to quit, where I cried, where I was like, I don't know if I can do this, but look at me now. Everything I went through is so worth it for the job that I do now. I love my job. I don't feel like I'm working because I love it that much. It is a job that fulfills me in every way. The money comes on its own when you love your job. So definitely use my journey as something to push you guys to get through your journey. I hope that it helps one of you guys out. My close friends in my program are still my friends today. So honestly, you guys have to help each other out, be there for one another, stay positive, be kind to one another, and know that one day you'll finally be doing what you love to do. I hope that you guys watch my other videos. I hope that you guys comment below if you have any questions and know that this is my personal experience. This is me telling you guys what I had to go through to get to where I am right now. So everyone has their story. This is mine. It was all worth it for this guy and this guy right there. I'm very proud. I went through a lot of things, a lot of hardships, personal stuff, failures. I have failed multiple times, but hey, I love my job, I love what I do, and that's all we could ask for, right? I hope that my story shows you that nothing is impossible, and even if you fail, you just get back up and you keep going. You focus on that goal and you try to get it. That's the end of the video. With all that being said, you guys take care. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.